this started and up and ready. That's definitely not. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm still trying to figure this out. I want to know. I want to give people the link to this video. <laughs> And I honestly couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, pretty much this will be a art lessons, and if I get some people on here, then I will take requests on what you would like me to draw. Is obviously not that if I can get people to see what they want me to draw, then I will do that and be kind of like, what do you guys want to see? And I will do it that way. But I honestly don't know what any of this stuff is. Um. I don't know if I just need to share this link or what. You need to be on somebody else's account. I'm gonna try that. Okay, I think I am back. I can check. That's what that is. Let's try to refresh that. Okay. Here we are. All right then. So I am here, and I will share this with some people. Right then. So I. Okay. No problems on that. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? So it's going to bother me. It's lagging a little bit. So if anyone has comments, you can just leave them here and I will see them and do whatever. So I guess I will just start with something basic. Um, this is Photoshop 7, I believe, and I'm pretty much just starting by adding a new layer. And I do my sketches with a 2 pixel paintbrush. So that's how I roll. Uh, I think I'm going to change the... I will be changing the canvas size to something like Alright, um, I guess I'll just start drawing something and then if you guys want to see something then let me know and I will 
do that for me. I don't really know what to draw at the moment. Um, so I'll just start with a head, as it usually ends up happening. There we go, so I just a little bit. Uh, head, chest, and the nose, the mouth, and the Okay. Alright, so we have both the ears and then we're gonna make the jaw. I'm just gonna do that like that. Pretty much you just make a line and then go in. Like that. And then you kinda of keep it together and you drop it out. And then we're going to do the inside of the ears, which is pretty much just a this. this. Doesn't have to be that abrupt though. And then we just kind of flip the insides. I'm just going to make sure this is still working and everything. What about that? Just like, we have one viewer. Whoever, whoever that viewer happens to be, thanks. Although it doesn't seem to have any views on this. So whatever it is, thanks for watching. Uh, you see the fluffing out here. And then I usually do the eyes, which you can play on the eyes. It's going to be on this line. Right in the middle. You draw something. I just usually draw the top line first, which is pretty much just a half of a really stretched out oval and something like that. Yeah, that is not a bit too big and a bit too close to Sarah. I can cheat with that. So that. And drawing the second one is always harder. Because you can never get it right. I think I got a pretty good set time. Okay. This, and then you kind of repeat the same process. So if you're trying to make another one, you put the eyebrows in, and look back, that looks bad. This needs to be smaller. That looks pretty better. Alright, and then we go with the hair, which I do have some pretty freaky hair, if any of you have ever seen it before, which I'm sure most of you have. I do a very anime, spiky hairstyle. And I've actually been denied from groups because the art I submit is so... Uh, because the hair apparently is extreme. Which I guess I can see a lot of that, but I mean, it's not that bad. That. So that's pretty much the neck and chest. Like that. Right like there. And I'm not entirely sure why I do that. I just started doing it some time ago. But it should reach, the bottom of the chest should reach the bottom of the circle. And then just pretty much go out in both directions, and then pretty much straight up. Alright, um, I don't really know what position to put this guy in. Um, at this point I could really do anything. So if anyone's watching, um, feel free to put in a comment. Well, I guess no one's really watching right now. So don't put in a comment. Um, yeah. 
It's not really tall enough for you to see like I'm standing or sitting. So we could do like a half. Just trying to do the shoulder right now and the first leg. These positions are kind of hard to do. Oh, for those of you, I've had some, a lot of people ask me this. Um, if I use a mouse, no, I do not use a mouse. I use a tablet. I use a Wacom bamboo tablet. And I've had it for a couple of years now, and I absolutely love it. It works really well. Um, it's not incredibly hard to get used to. So if you're on the fence about getting a tablet because you think it's going to be hard to get used to, it's not. It's, it's actually fairly easy to get used to. A lot of people say, well, you can't look at it because it's, you can't look at it and see the picture. You have to look at the screen. I just tell them, you don't look at a mouse when you're using a mouse, do you? You look at the screen. And it's kind of the same thing except with a pen. I am having a huge trouble with these legs right now. So maybe we'll do something separate for that. And just like larger. And I'll do some feet up to the side just so you can guys can generally see how I do it. Though these kind of positions are really incredibly difficult to do. Some whiskers, which I've picked up on recently. I started doing whiskers on my cats. Alright, now for the fluffy. I have a friend of mine that is really bad at doing the fluffy. She doesn't understand that you don't have to go like this to make it a fluffy cat. You do it sporadically. Like, I will do it in a different color so you guys can see it. Okay, right, pretty much you can, depending on the type of cat, we're going to say this is an, an, an English short hair. Just kind of rough them out in specific places, like particularly where joints meet. Like see here, this is where the neck meets the shoulder, and so the hair is not going to lie it's flat, it's going to come out, out some. And then the chest here, you fluff it down, you don't fluff it out. Well, you can, you can fluff it out. I've seen people that go it like this, and it doesn't look bad. That's just typically not how I do it. I typically kind of fluff out at the beginning and then work my way down. And then I go up here. And then also, depending on the breed, because I have a character that is a German Rex. And um, I don't draw the curls. I draw it kind of coming off of his shoulder more like that because it's a long hair cat. And so there's that. And then um, the neck and the face and the hips are really the only place you need to shade. Oh, and the back of the legs. Um, so this is the front, this is the full paw here. So that's a four paw. You can fluff it here as well. The elbow. Um, I've also seen people fluffing the hock, which is this part right here on the back leg, which is fine. You, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a style choice for that one, and I typically don't do it unless I'm really trying to put to the point of it's a long haired cat and it's very fluffy. So that's typically how that goes about. Um, I guess I can merge these down. Uh, I will be doing a line up for this. Um, I really, for those of you who are uh, wondering, I actually got my Photoshop for free. Well, sort of for free. I got it on. Oh, I am upping the pixel to four now. Um, I got it with my tablet. Um, which I got for really cheap uh, at a Best Buy President's Day sale or something like that. They were having a sale and the tablet was only like $199 instead of the usual like $250 or something like that. And so it was a lot cheaper than it usually was. So I got that 
for my birthday, I believe, a couple of years ago. And then last year, I got a computer for my birthday. And this year, I got a video camera. But that's not important. Um, we're now doing the line art. And this is about where I put the pupil in. Sometimes I do the like this, where you have the circle and then you have the pupil. And sometimes I do a round pupil. It just kind of varies, but recently I've been doing the, um, the full eye color through here and then the pupil here. I don't know if she can see this. And that's how I'm doing it. Um, something for pupils. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either do the round pupil, which is fine, nobody really cares. You can do the round pupil just in the center like that. You can do this with the round pupil in it. You can have a bajillion circles on the inside with the pupil in it. It doesn't matter, it's a style choice. Um, you can also do the slitted pupil, which is fine. You can do what I've been doing is the slitted with a shine, which it just kind of goes in, and then when you color it in, there's a shine on it, and you put the white right there, which is what I will be doing. And with pupil placements, it can be kind of difficult, but let me get this other eye. There's a pin in the nose. There's a pin in the nose for. There's a pin in the nose. Did you guys hear the pin in the nose? Alright, then I guess it's not important. Um, well, of course it is. Aligning, doing a line art for things on the left is kind of difficult for me. Uh, yes, I am right-handed, and frankly, I don't really care what that means because a lot of people say left-handed people are more artistic. I think that's bull crap. And uh, I do have a left-handed friend; she's been my friend for years. But that doesn't mean they're more artistic. She is very artistic, but that has nothing to do with it. All right, just because she's left-handed does not mean she's artistic. I know plenty of right-handed people that are artistic. And yes, I'm saying artistic and not autistic. There's a difference All right now for the pupil placement. After we've gotten off a lovely off-topic conversation, one side and I might say, we don't need it that much. All right, you see, he's looking, or she's looking, but right about here, a little off-center. So you're going to want this a little off-center. And you want the shine on the same side. A lot of people make the mistake of if the shine's over here on this eye, they'll like flip it. Because I've seen a lot of people like they'll copy the eye, they'll copy this eye, and then flip it horizontally and put it over here, and then the shine's on the wrong side. And a lot of people don't change it because they don't realize it's much of a problem. But when the shine's over here, you have to have the shine over there on the same eye because that's where the light is coming from. And you can't have it over here because then it's doesn't look right. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, all right, so we have the eyes outlined. Okay. I have the black line art on a separate layer, and I've gotten to a point where I've been almost done with the line art, with the line art, and I realized it's on the same layer, which is bad, which is absolutely terrible, because then you can't get rid of the sketch, and so I had to start all over with the line art, which is very bothersome. I hate doing. Let's go back to this stuff. With this card. Maybe this right here. With the mouth, I've been doing a, a typical cat thing where it meets in the center. I forget what that's called at the moment. And then you have the um, rest of the muzzle right here. And you can complete it on both sides if you want, but I typically only do it on one side at a time. And then we have the jaw, which a lot of people don't realize you can have a suggested line. And that's a big fancy art term for meaning it doesn't actually have to be there. You don't actually have to draw this and this for there to be a mouth. You can draw broken up lines. You can draw this and it looks just fine. Right, I move to the other side. Now, hair is tricky because, again, it's a style choice. You can either have where the hair is 
transparent where it's not you can see where you can see through all of it and then you can have it where it's actual hair it's thick and you can't see through it like actual hair would be which is fine it means you just erase these lines just means you erase these lines right here and right there which is fine or you can do what I do and have it partial I don't like to cover up the eyes unless it's a particular character choice uh, which is also fine you can hold it up uh, however you want as you're going do what you want I'm just helping you with anatomy uh, just fine you can do it here just kind of do that and I do the partial where you can't see all of the ear. You just see this part of the ear. You can't see this part of the ear at all. But you can see this part of the cheek and jaw. And then if the hair was covering up the eye, which right now it's not, but if it was, then you'd be able to see it and it would look like this. You can have it like that. There we go. Let's really go on to the neck. Here we have the fluffies. And you don't have to have it symmetrical, and you don't have to have the lines going all the way down if you start something. And they don't have to be like that, and they don't have to be huge or fluffies. And I call them fluffies because I want to get my phone out of the way. And I call them fluffies, and that is what I do. And the fluffies of them. Alright, and so we have the chest right here. You can look at that. that a lot. I do that a lot. And you guys may get a little motion sickness from how much I zoom in and out and everything. There we go. There is the neck and chest. And then we have the shoulders in. And I will show you coloring on Photoshop via Teach Me to Learn. And the shoulders are fairly easy to do. I've just had a lot of problem with the forward facing shoulders recently. I'm not entirely sure why. Usually it's not much of a problem. I'm just going to crop it. Right, and now I will put in my whiskers. Which what I do is I put two on the side. Usually two or three, but recently I've been doing two. One long and one short. Again, the hair doesn't cover up the whiskers. Although technically it would, but it's transparent. And then we do two on the top, which I only ever do two on the top if I do the two on the top. And you don't have to have it connected to the muzzle to do whiskers. That's, in a, again, another style choice, do what you want. And normally these whiskers would actually be connected right here. Maybe with a hue, but I don't do that. I make them suggested lines, or you assume. And now I just get rid of the sketch, and I have my nice clean line art already. Except I put the shoulders on the wrong layer, so I will be drawing the shoulders again. Those don't look very good. Are you getting that across? No. Alright, so now we add a layer underneath the line art. This is the line art. Layer 2 is the line art. And normally I don't name my layers unless I am doing an extremely, extremely numbered layered amount of picture, which I rarely do. So we're on layer 3, which is the layer underneath layer 2. And we go back to layer 2. And I do this thing called special select. Because I hate cleaning up my pictures. 
because they bought it. And this makes it faster because there's a thing about Photoshop is you can't just color in all the lines. You can't color in between all the lines without having some fuzziness around your layout. And that is what I'm going to fix. So, um, I guess we can do a brown one. It's pretty ugly, right? Brown cat. It's a little brown cat. And no, I'm not drawing anyone in particular. I'm just drawing the cat. That is brown. Alright, you see how it stayed in the lines up here and not over here? That's because my special select tool is really stupid and doesn't realize that I know what I'm doing. So that is what we do here. And I put the shoulders on, um, maybe not. No, I just can't see the shoulders. Why is that? Honestly, I don't know. I'll put them on the background. Yes, I put the shoulders on the wrong layer again. So, this cat is not going to have any shoulders. Get over it. Because I've drawn it three times already. So, we are not going to go about that. Okay, so we have. So my hand is getting bored. All right, so we have this guy over here. That's better. And I usually color in the eyes and the nose last, and then do up markings. So I guess we will have him have because I like white jaws. I'm really giving him a white jaw. And when I say jaw, I mean chin. If I were to actually give him a white jaw, you would know. If I were to give him a white jaw, it'd be a Q, which is difficult to do. If you have a lobby way. Good chin. Yeah. I don't really know what you call this, but let's get this one up. Bring that up. And then we can do some stripes. We'll do some darker stripes. Um, what kind of stripes do we want to do? Um, let's do the ears first, I guess. Uh, you can do stripes however you want. I've seen a lot of people do them like that. It's fine. Uh, I do that with them sometimes. It's just kind of the kind of tabby you want. And then I've seen people that do the whole tabby stripes, looking up pictures and throw them in the blank as they go and moving on. Which is also fine. Um, it just generally depends, and I know people that do, dang it, I lost that color, um, generally people that just do the zebra stripes all the way across, and that is also fine. Um, it just, again, varies in the style and what you're looking for, and I will be doing a mixture of a couple of these, because I like the zebra stripes, as I call them, on the ears. And then I usually do the hair. Yes. Do the ears. This doesn't take very long. The long part is coming up soon. I'll show you. I do not think I am even... Oh, we have two viewers now. Hello, two viewers. I wonder who you could be, magicalness. I'm assuming you're one of the most awesome people in the world because, well, you're watching me. So, of course... Anyway, let's do this. I'm just upping the brush because this is taking way too long. Alright, so now I make the brush a lot smaller. Go like this. Now, 
one thing I particularly despise about Photoshop, other than the other ten things I actually despise about Photoshop, is that there is not a smear tool. So I cannot physically smear colors together. I can, however, blur the colors together, which doesn't look the same. So, what I have to do here is do it the old-fashioned way. No, it's pretty good. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Right, now we're going to go to the face, the rest of the face. Now, for the face, I usually do geometric patterns. And with that, uh, geometric patterns, that means just things you're not going to find in nature, like triangles and dots and things like that. You can, however, find dots like this in nature. The dot on the eyebrow, which I do a lot, actually. The dot on the eyebrow. One thing about faces is they have to be symmetrical, or generally they are symmetrical. With tabbies, um, of course, you can always. It's a character thing. Do whatever you want. Again, I'm not dictating what you can and can't do. So we have some dots right there. No. Okay. Now let's do it again. Let's see if we still paint it. Let's see if we can see if it's not right there. Alright, that will do for now. I'm not particularly overly concerned about whether the dots on his face are the same size or not. Alright, now um, you can do these kind of dots, or you can do triangles, or you can do actual stripes where they come over like this. And that's fine. Just as simple as that. You want. Traditionally, I want um, to, for those of you who don't know what that means, traditionally means um, pencil, with pencil and paper. I will typically either do triangles or uh, triangles like this or dots because they're easier to do. But on the computer, I will do different things, generally varying on what I feel like doing. And then I'm going to go here and do the same thing. Supposedly, it will never exactly look the same. But we're going to try our hardest now, aren't we? Yes, it looks good. Alright. Now for the chest. Typically, I do a white chest, but I don't feel like going over it right now because that takes a lot of work. So I'm not going to do that. Um, we can do some stuff on the chest though. And then I just kind of do this kind of lazy stripes like this with a giant brush, either with a very large brush or a very small brush, generally varying. Switch to a bit smaller. Why does that one do? I'll use a smaller brush this time. Let's do something a bit like this. Make Do. do the shoulders that you can't see because I was an idiot and put the shoulders on the background. So I'm gonna pretend these are the shoulders. I'm gonna tip the chest with some dark colors. Now, what I would normally do at this point is that when I'm done, 
one it would not look like this um oh i still didn't do the eyes so i will do the eyes for you all right eyes are a fun thing you can do them however you want and i will do the eyes two different ways so um just to show you what they look like so we're going to do amber eyes golden eyes with the base color and this is one of my favorite ways to do eyes and a friend of mine showed this to me pretty much okay so you have this color and then you make it a little bit darker. A little bit darker. I'll go in the bottom of that. And go a little bit darker. And generally, the fewer that you can tell it apart, like you can barely tell it apart like here. The only way I can tell it apart is by tilting my screen. You pretty much pull it down. Right here in a small area. A little bit darker. Now from here, it looks like a bunch of pink, a bunch of brownish yellow spongy things. But once you get down to it. See, it's different. I can occur in the pupil, and you can blur it in if you want. This is not my blur to this effect. I'm going to do a whole bit of blurry to the child, so I don't take a good deal on this. It's blurry. People, I just got people. The line art with white. And there's one way you can do a shine. A big dramatic example of a shine. So you have big anime eyes. And they look big and happy. With this one. And you can do it this way. It also is big and shiny. Or, and do not rough spotting. Or, we can just go like this, which is what I was planning on doing because you might as well go out of the wrong time. You see the light is coming in from over here. Now I'll show you another way to do this eye. And this is what I typically do. Starting with the same color. Bit darker. And the shine is over here, so we're going to have over here. We have dark and around the people. I'm going to take it a little lighter. And that one over here. And that one over here. I'm going to just take it a little bit lighter. And do it in this corner over here. Pretty much furthest away from where the light is, and then we're going to turn it in. What? And two different ways to do eyes. Um, there's a bazillion different ways you can do eyes. Um, that's just two of the easiest ones, I guess you could say. And now I'll just do the nose, and the nose is pretty easy. I'll just do some soft pink color. Wrong way. I do that a lot, if you guys haven't noticed already. Alright. Now at this point, I would typically deselect this, 
and then you can see we have all of these nasty, fuzzy pixels stuff around the lineup. And I would go all the way around the picture and erase all of the stuff that's outside the lineup. But that will take me quite some time. Like a ridiculous amount of time. And I will have to be off for a second. I 